let me ask the first question, is cryptocurrency being used to hide assets? And second, if it is, can you go after it? Um, it it's certainly on the radar of what we're looking at. Uh, there, are, there are technological and structural reasons why I think it's unlikely that you'll see billions of dollars from a single oligarch moving through um, cryptocurrency exchanges. Um, I wouldn't expect that kind of, of um, activity. And, um, and why not? Just just before you, why wouldn't they seek to move billions through crypto, cryptocurrencies? Are the, are the markets just not big or liquid enough to handle that? Part of it, I think, is a market liquidity issue. Part of it, I think, is uh, uh, essentially the the time, the 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 cost-benefit analysis of other methods of laundering makes it cheaper and, and probably more successful. Um, and probably more successful in a way that gets at the second half of your, your question, which is what are the tools and what, are, what, uh, what can we do in the event that illicit money moves through the cryptocurrency system or, or on the blockchain? Um, and the, the fact is that there are aspects of the blockchain and aspects of cryptocurrency that are attractive to um, to money launderers generally, um, to to fraudsters who are, are trying to obtain the payments from ransomware, for example. The attractive aspects tend to be the cross-border nature of it, how you can quickly move from one jurisdiction to another, um, and the pseudonymous nature of, uh, of cryptocurrency. But there's some limitations on that also, and it gives us as um, as prosecutors, as investigators, some real tools to to uh, to hand to identify um, the source, the origin, the ownership of um, of cryptocurrency and and um, problematic wallets. So, for example, over the the certainly the last several years. Um, our friends at the FBI, at Homeland Security, at the IRS criminal investigations uh, uh, agency have become real experts in tracing movement across the blockchain. And you've seen that in, in a number of cases, and a number of, of seizures, both in the ransomware uh, context, but also in things like uh, the movement of funds from uh, darknet marketplaces, even years down the, down the line. Um, pseud pseudonymous movement of money is not anonymous movement of money. Uh, and we do have, have tools to unwind who is behind particular transactions, where the currency came from, and where it sits today. 